Hello everyone, welcome back to Mathmo. Today we have an interesting equation. We have 2 to the power x square over 4 to the power x equal to 64. How can you solve this equation? Take a look, we have different exponents, different powers. We have x square, we have x, we have all different bases. And of course, on the first side, this equation is real hard. But take a look, this is 2. We can write these 4 as 2 square. This is good for us. And this 64 we can write as 2 to the 6th power. So then we will have our base of 2 everywhere. So let's do this. Let's simplify this a little bit. What we will have? We will have 2 to the power x square. This is the same. This is good for us. We work with this 2 later. And right here we write this 4 as 2 square raised to the power x. This is our denominator. And write in our 64 as 2 to the 6th power. Of course, if we multiply this 6 times, we will have our 64. Take a look, this is good for us. We have 2 everywhere. But right here we have 2 square. But you need to know about the rule. If we have a situation like that, if we raise a to the power x raised to the power b, we can write it as, as multiplication. So 2 to the power x square ray dividing by 2 to the power 2x and equal to 2 to the 6th power. So just multiplying this right here, we have multiplying. This is the rule. 2 to the power 2x. <clears throat> so what we're going to do next? Take a look. We have all same bases. This is good for us. What we're going to do next? Let's bring this 2 to the power 2x in our nominator. So, but instead of this plus sign, we will have minus sign. So if you bring the number from denominator to nominator, you just need to put minus in your power, in your exponent. So let's do this. We will have not equal, we will have 2 to the power x square, first element, and bring this one in our denominator, times 2 to the power minus 2x equal to 2 to the 6th power. This is our, our equation after all simplifying steps. What we're going to do next? Take a look, we have same bases, and if you have multiplication, you just need to add your exponent, your power. This is the rule. If you have a to the power x times a to the power b, you can easily write that a to the power x plus b. Just add your exponent, your power. This is the rule. So let's do this. What we will have? We will have 2 to the power x square, and we add the second exponent. But instead of this plus, we will have minus 2x equal to 2 to the 6th power. Okay, what are we going to do next? Take a look. We have same basis. And the this equation works, we need that our exponent, our powers, will be the same. So we need to write an equation with our exponent. What equation it will be? It will be x square minus 2x equal to 6. Just we need to solve this and we will have our, our answer. Okay, this looks like quadratic equation, so we can easily bring this 6 on the left. x square minus 2x minus 6 equal to 0. Solve it. Let's solve it easily. Let's find our a, b, c, d. a, b, c, sorry. We will have a equal to 1, b equal to minus 2, and c equal to minus 6. We have all these elements, so we can easily find our x1 and x2. What we'll have? x1 and x2 equal to. We'll have minus b. Instead of this, we'll have 2 plus minus this square root, b square minus 4ac, we will have 4 minus 4ac, and this minus will be plus, plus 4 times 1 times 6, and all over 2, 2a. Let's simplify this a little bit. As a result, we will have 2 plus minus this square root. We can find it. We will have 4 plus 24. It will be 28 and, of course, dividing by 2. We find our x1 and x2. But take a look. We have two, two cases. We have with the plus sign, which is good for us because it will be positive, and we have with minus sign, it will be minus, and will it, will, will it root be good for us? Take a look. If you put minus right here, this is good because this minus will be in our denominator, so this is good for us. Minus, plus, doesn't matter. This one is never go is never be equal to zero, so we are interested in both cases. So as a result, we'll have that x one and two 
equal to I can divide by parts all of these elements and bring this 28 as square root of 4 times square root of 7. So as a result this will be equal to 2. I cancel with this one. And as a result we'll have square root of 7. So our two cases 1 plus minus square root of 7. This will be our general answer. If you still have any question, if you have any suggestion, write your suggestion in the comment. It will be really interesting to read it. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, putting subs up. I really appreciate it. And see you in the next video. Have a great day.